wait a little bit here for everybody else to get on. Hope you guys catch this on the replay. If you do, hit like on this video. This is a very, very important day for Cowboys Nation, Cowboys fans all over the world. <clears throat> Amazing. Amazing. What's up, everybody? What's up? That's Cowboy Football News. What's up, everybody? What is up, everybody? All right. Um, shout out to uh, Josh Pru. He's my he's one of our latest uh, members of uh, Cowboys Blog. Um, you know he's he's a he's a producer of the channel now. So uh, shout out to Josh Pru. All right. Now what we're gonna get into here is the induction of Coach Jimmy Johnson into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. This is serious. Cab mode time, baby. <laughs> I'm breaking out. The back to back cap, man. I can't tell you how happy I am about this. All right, I don't know how many views we'll, we'll get from this video, um, how many people will, will check this out live or whatever. But Jimmy Johnson was my coach, you know. I, I grew up for I grew up on, on these guys, all right. My dad, you know, grew up on um, Starbuck Pearson. Um, Tom Landry, these guys, he raised me to be a Cowboys fan, obviously. Uh, as a young kid, I got the back end of the Landry era. And then, you know, going through the the Jimmy Johnson era, man, going through that. You know, a lot of fans, a lot of the younger fans don't know that feeling, you know, of, of winning a Super Bowl, of going through a 1-15 season of seeing your program develop from one and 15, seven and nine, 11 and five, 13 and three Super Bowls. Oh man, I, I can't even, when they announced Bill Cowers yesterday, right? Which I'm glad, I'm happy for him. You know, don't get me wrong, but I just did not want Jimmy Johnson to get passed over again, all right? I didn't want to see Jimmy Johnson get get passed over again. Um, so it, it, it was, uh, very good to see Jimmy Johnson get inducted to get selected here tonight. I was hoping it would happen during the halftime show. Mr. Baker came on there and, uh, made the announcement and you could see <laughs> the tears, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm emotional about it, you know? I love that guy. <laughs> I love Coach Johnson. This is well-deserved. This is well, well-deserved, you know? And it's a shame that, that uh, Jerry Jones has not put Coach into the ring of honor. He should be ashamed of himself from, from that standpoint, you know? Coach Johnson should have been in the, in the, in the Cowboys Ring of Honor back when they had the Cowboys uh, Texas Stadium, you know. We had to wait for the Pro Football Hall of Fame to get it done. And you know how they are with the Cowboys. Darren Woodson keeps getting passed up. Um, even some of the older school cats have been getting passed up. But from, from my generation, Darren Woodson getting passed up is killing me. It's driving me crazy. Jimmy Johnson getting passed up was killing me. So, man, when I saw him happy, crying, I felt that. I felt that. I felt the same way. And I feel it right now just talking about it. You know, he was just, uh, he turned this franchise around. You know, he does not get enough credit. You know, there should be a statue of Jimmy Johnson in front of the stadium. But we know with the egos and, and Jerry, that, that will never happen. But he transformed this team into, into what they are now. That billion-dollar stadium would never happen without the Super Bowls. Am I right? That was just a great time. Going, go, you, you know, you lose that one season. You draft Troy Aikman. You get the, you trade Herschel Walker. You get the picks. You, you see the picks develop. You know, uh, Tony Tolbert. You make the trade for Haley. You get Russell Marilyn, Alvin Harper, Darren Woodson, Kevin Smith, uh, Larry Brown, Darren Smith, Robert Edwards, Godfrey Miles. Uh, Jimmy Jones, 
Robert Jones, Kevin Williams. I mean, he knew how to draft, man. Jimmy Jones, Jimmy Johnson knew how to draft. He knew how to, to get this this team going, man. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. I hope you guys are, are just as happy as I am, even if you're a, a new uh, a newer, a younger fan of the Cowboys. This, this is something to be very, very proud of because he's such a big part of, of what we are right now. All right, of what the Cowboys are right now. But uh, that's all I have right now, guys. Um, just want to hit on that. I want to get this out there, man. If you hit, if you watch this video, watch on the replay, hit like on it. Jimmy Johnson officially in the Hall of Fame. He's been selected. I really think that I'm going to try to go to this. You know, I always told myself that I was going to try to go to J Jimmy Johnson's induction and Darren Woodson. So this is one that, I, that I'm going to try to, to get out there, too. I love Coach Johnson, man. I feel like I'm one of his players, <laughs> you know. Uh, but growing up as a young kid, you know, a teenager watching these guys develop, winning those Super Bowls, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling, man. And you just... You just want that feeling again as a, as a fan right now. You you go 30 years or whatever without a Super Bowl. And hopefully it'll happen soon for the Cowboys. How do you guys feel about uh, Jimmy Johnson? Let me know in the comments. Did you grow up? Was he your era of uh, coach? Did you grow up on Jimmy Johnson and, and go through those Super Bowl years? 1-15, 7-9, 11-5, 13-3. Did, did you go through those? I remember those. I remember losing to Detroit. Um, I think in the divisional round, it broke my heart. But then the following season, we got to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I have a lot of memories attached with the Cowboys and watching them with my dad. So it's good. It's good stuff. But that's all I have right now, guys. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. I want to catch you guys for the next video. We've got a lot of talk to talk about. Thanks everybody, peace.